Hello YouTube, LD50 here. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video um, talking about how the new action skill element um, that we've got with the new fourth tree is not working properly uh, with the skills in fusion and forceful expression. Um, so with the new DLC uh, we got this fourth skill tree, this purple tree here, and we got a new action skill element of cryo. And it has been reported uh, that this isn't working correctly with the two skills uh, in fusion and forceful expression. So we're going to try that. Uh, we're also on the way just to check to see whether it's also working with illuminated fist correctly. Uh, but uh, we'll start off with uh, infusion. So before we put any skill points in, uh, let's try and have a look at what the base damage is with a couple of weapons. So we have a face puncher here, which is uh, supposed to deal its damage as melee damage. And we have a standard Jacobs shotgun here, uh, which is a kinetic shotgun. So our base damage is 25k on the face puncher, and it is... Let's get nice and close so we get a single damage number. 75k with the... Uh, Jacob shotgun so that's what we um, our base damage will be and then uh, if we take forceful expression sorry infusion uh, we will find that uh, a portion of that damage has been converted to our action skill element now uh, there is a visual bug at the moment uh, so when you uh, first start up the game if you don't have an action skill element equipped um, it should have an icon for the shock damage that's the standard or default action skill element but unfortunately uh, that hasn't been fixed yet so it shows uh, as though there is no action skill element but it is actually shock so by putting five points into infusion we should see the base damage numbers of those guns go down and we should be see a second number uh, as uh, blue shock damage so let's try that quickly two numbers so we have uh, 15k uh, as our base damage kinetic damage and uh, just under just over six and a half K as shock damage um, and if we did the maths uh, that's about right so 40% of damage has been taken uh, off of the um, base kinetic damage and converted to shock so there you go 15k uh, just over six and a half and with our Jacobs it's nice and close 45k and 19k as shock so what we can take away from that is infusion is working perfectly fine with the base shock damage Let's try that with soul fire, which is the fire element. And the icon now changes to the fire uh, the fire element icon. So we should now see two numbers, one of them being the base damage of uh, 15k on this weapon and a further bonus elemental damage. 15k and 17k. 17k is the fire damage. There is a um, a bonus for fire on flesh, which is why that uh, that number is high with the fire damage. But importantly, the base kinetic damage is what we expect. If we try that with the Jacobs, we should expect to see 45k as the base damage, and again a large number as fire damage 45k base damage 53k as fire damage fire damage getting the um, bonus for fire on flesh and then uh, if we put some points into the green tree we'll put some neutral points in here we should see again two numbers we should see the 45k sorry on this weapon 15k base and we should see a corrosive element damage uh, number as well 15k and just over six and a half K as corrosive damage on the Jacobs 
45k base damage, 19k as bonus uh, elemental damage, corrosive damage. Now if we spec into the purple tree to get ourselves down so that we can uh, get cold hearted, we'll choose again a neutral skill here, it's not going to affect our damage numbers, and we'll choose the cryo element. We would expect to see two numbers. We would expect to see 15k and another number representing the cryo damage. And with the Jacobs, we'd expect to see 45k and another number representing the cryo damage. So let's try that out. No, we're seeing 25k, which is the base damage of the weapon without infusion. And we are seeing 75k as the base damage for that weapon without infusion. Uh, the bonus elemental damage from infusion so it appears that infusion is not working correctly with that skill uh, I'm just gonna nip up uh, quickly respec and take us all the way down to forceful expression so we can uh, check out that uh, welcome back um, I've uh, Reset my skill points here, and we're going to uh, make our way down to a forceful expression to see how that skill interacts with the uh, elements, and particularly the new cryo action skill element. We want to avoid uh, infusion, because we're just going to be testing forceful expression, so we'll take some other skills to get ourselves down. I want to avoid Illuminated Fist because we will be testing the Face Puncher as well um, and that may complicate matters. Right, we're going to need to take a single point into Tempest which will inflate the elemental damage numbers slightly but for the purpose of this test shouldn't be a problem. Uh, take some other neutral skills to try to get down uh, without uh, adding too much damage uh, so that we can take Forceful Expression. So, as you can see on the right of the screen there, we have our action skill element set to shock. Uh, please disregard the fact that it is purple. That is a visual bug. We will be expecting to see uh, blue numbers. Uh, we would also be expected to see, expecting to see our 75k base damage from this weapon. So let's give that a go. 75k, there we go, 75k. And just over nine and a half K as shock damage. We'll cycle through, cycle through the elements just to see how that's working and we'll finally test it with the cryo uh, element to see if that is working. So with fire, 75K plus 25K fire damage. Corrosive, we'll need to take some neutral uh, skill points here to get down to corrosive. Again, 75k, uh, just under 9.5k of uh, corrosive damage. And then some neutral skill points to try to get the down to our cryo action skill element. And we should expect to see 75k base damage plus some bonus elemental damage. We're not seeing that. So the bonus elemental damage from forceful expression is not being applied to this weapon. Let's test that with the face puncher. We'll cycle through all of the elements again. So we'll set this back to shock as our base action skill element, default action skill element being shock. 25k. So we're not seeing any bonus shock damage. We're just seeing the base damage of the weapon Let's change that to fire. Again, we're not seeing anything from forceful expression. Set to corrosive. We're not seeing anything from forceful expression. And from the cryo. Again, we're just seeing the base damage no bonus elemental damage from forceful expression. That may be because the weapon deals technically melee damage. So 
I did say I was avoiding illuminated fists. Let's put a point into illuminated fists uh, and see if that will give us any uh, bonus damage. Let's set this uh, back to shock. We'll do a melee strike first. So we're seeing that number in blue. So it is definitely applying shock element to our melee damage. But the face punch are doing melee damage. It's just seeing it in white. So that doesn't appear to be applying shock damage to our face puncher. We'll try that with all of the elements just to make sure. So I change that to fire. Yes, we're seeing that number in in red from a standard melee strike, but from the uh, face puncher, we're just seeing increased damage. We're not seeing it as uh, a particular element. We'll try that with corrosive. We're seeing the number in green. We're not seeing the face puncher damage numbers in green. We're just seeing it increase to 37. Okay. And finally, we will try the cryo. So we're seeing 12k for a standard melee strike. 37k again for our face puncher shot. So it looks like uh, as cryo and kinetic both have the same colour, it does look like uh, the cryo damage is being applied to our standard melee shot, but it's not being applied to the face puncher damage. We'll try that one last time with our action skill, just to see um, whether our action skill is uh, getting the correct element. We'll set this back to shock. Again, note that just because the icon is purple doesn't mean it is cryo. You have to look at the icon shape. Uh, that's something I hope Gearbox fixes. And we will we'll go for phase cast. Uh, shall we go for phase cast or phase slam? Phase cast. I think it's a bit easier to see the animation. Uh, sorry, phase cast. It's a bit easier to see the animation, um, and that will tell us, that will give us a visual clue as to whether the element is being applied uh, as the correct element, and we should see the numbers uh, in the correct element color as well. So we have uh, shock set as our action skill element, and we're seeing the number in blue, and we're seeing the animation. Uh, indicate that it is shock. We'll wait for this to come back. We'll change to fire and we should see the animation as fire and we should see the number as red. Bear in mind I don't have Guardian rank enabled, so there's nothing to um, help the cooldown. It's just a standard 28 second cooldown. So we should see fire animation and the numbers in red. And that's exactly what we see. We've changed to corrosive. We'll wait for the action skill to come back. And we have the animation as corrosive and we see the numbers in green. Finally, we will change to our cryo action skill element. Uh, we're expecting to see the cryo animation for phase cast and we're expecting to see the numbers in white.
That looks like it's a cryo animation for phase cast and the numbers were in white. So, in conclusion, the new cryo element does not appear to work with infusion and it does not appear to work with forceful expression for any gun. For the other action skill elements, shock, corrosive and fire, infusion and forceful expression seems to work fine for regular weapons. For the face puncher, it does not seem to work as intended with forceful expression. However, when we do take a point into illuminated fist, we are getting increased damage numbers from the face puncher. So there is something definitely uh, dodgy going on there. Uh, I do think a gearbox needs to have a good look at it. Um, it doesn't look as though it's working as intended. Um, certainly with regular weapons and infusion and forceful expression, that's not working as intended. With illuminated fist, it's only working for a melee strike. It's not working for the face puncher damage. We are getting increased damage numbers, but it doesn't appear to apply uh, the face puncher damage as uh, an element. And for our action skill, uh, it is appearing to apply the correct chosen element to our action skill. So, some work to do there for Gearbox. Um, they brought out this lovely new uh, skill tree for us to play around with. Um, however, the new action skill element Cryo is not working uh, as the other elements do with the skills Infusion and Forceful Expression. I do hope that the uh, developers look at this very soon. Uh, we've paid for this content and we would be very pleased to have it work correctly. So that is my conclusion for the test um, of the new action skill element. Um, if you've enjoyed this content, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I've been LD50, you've been lovely. Uh, bye for now and I'll see you in the next one.